just fine. All right, let's talk to this Denton guy. Dotton, sorry. Wonderful sight, isn't it? The best of my dancers. The best I've seen in many years. Who are you? I'm Dotton Head, an entrepreneurial businessman here on Citadel Station. I deal in odds and ends, stuff that Zerka and the Dobo brothers have no interest in. Uh, odds and ends. Indeed, I run a loose business and my stock changes from day to day. I've come on behalf of Hara. That one. Ah, must be about Romana. Then, fine. Give me your proposal. Give me the girl or I kill you. Uh, how much do you want for her? Credits, if it must be. The currency of the Republic is such a mundane way for businessmen to arrange their deals. But if that's the only way, I would accept less than 2,000. No less than 2,000 credits. That is a high price. Perhaps 1,500 would be more within reason. How about you wager her on a game of Pazak? <laughs> now that is an interesting suggestion. The situation. Uh, what a setup. Romana lost by Hara on a Pazak game to be wagered by Don and another. I do like the way you think. There is merit to your suggestion. Fine. I shall place Romana as a wager in a Pazak game. Against a wager of 1,000 credits of your own, I think. Oh, shit. Wow. I cannot afford that wager. A shame. I'll leave you to find the funds to meet my wager then. Damn it. Wow. Alright, that's going to be a hard thing to do. Because, like... The wager's so high, so we need a good deck, but we need a deck to begin with. So who do we go for for a deck, you know? Let's let's talk hey to this girl. Uh let's see. Um Let's play. Sure thing. Uh let's play for fun. Let's have a do I have any cards? I guess I do actually. Huh. Choose available cards, choose side side deck. Nah man, I just take everything here. Hold on. One. I literally have I don't have enough to yeah, I have to do everything. All right. All right, that's fine. When you play a negative card, its value is subtracted from your score. Looks like there's new types of cards here, too. All right, play. Yes. Okay. So, the rule of Pazak is very simple. I'm glad they didn't take the time to explain it, either. New players are like, ah, what, Pazak? Um, yeah, you just have to get it under 20, and then you have to lock it down. Close As close to 20 as possible. If you go over, you, you basically lose the round. All right, here we go. Three. Actually, no, I'm doing this wrong. I'm already doing this wrong. End turn. You're only supposed to add cards on when you're near the end of your- Look, see, look, this is what's gonna happen. Shit, alright, ah, uh, shit. We- Fuck, we lost. Okay, hold on. And... End turn. I lost. I'm done, okay. Alright, so you don't use your cards until... You're around 20. And you use whatever is convenient for you to use. All right, plus one, lock it down. There we go. End turn. End turn. Yeah, you want to get it on or close to twenty. And it's a tie again. All right. This person, we've we've tied like twice, and this person's only won one round. Holy crap! How'd you get that so quickly? Please be fair with me. Ugh. End turn. Nah, lost that. Okay, stand. All right. End turn. It goes by really quickly. Bam, look at that. All right, win the set, there we go. It's probably the only set I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah, you don't use cards until like, you have to. You don't You don't use them in the beginning, that's stupid. Please give me 20. I won the set anyway, cool. Okay, maybe I'll win this actually. This is for fun, but still. Um, 14, 17. Yo, you guys, the viewers here, you don't mind if I'm playing Pazak, right? Pazak's awesome. All right, even though I just lost, but yeah. Looks like luck was on my side this time. A friend of the game. Yes, for credits. Yeah, sure. All right, yeah, wager 40 seems fine. Let's see here. Display. All right, I have a good feeling this time. Start off on the wrong foot. Stand. We're not going to get any closer to that. Oh, I swear to God. Okay, fine. And turn. Oh, gosh. No, we're fine. Shit. I don't... Okay. Lost that one. Oh, they won twice. Fuck it. Okay, fine. Let's see here. Maybe I'll win this time. No risks. Actually, I'll risk. But no, like, dumb risk. There we go. Look at that. Fuck you. You tied. Okay, fine. End turn. Getting close to that tie, hopefully. Ah. Alright, plus five. Tied again. Dear God. They're just exhausting my cards. This is bad. Tied again. Oh my gosh. I swear to God, this person's cheating. I, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to get this. Yeah, there's no way. Damn it. Ah. Stand. 
Looks Man. Like luck was on my side this time. Yeah, for credits. Let me get my credits back. And if I get them back, I'm not playing you again. Alright, let's see here. That's just a lesson. Like, if you lose your credits... Like, and then... That's just a sign that you shouldn't be doing it, you know? And turn, please. Alright, cool. Finally, there we go. One round, two more. Plus six. Bam, there we go. End turn, I'm done. Bam, another one. There we go, I'm getting my credits back. Overconfidence says I should play her again to just win 40 more credits. But, probably not such a good idea. See, look. Look how quickly I did that. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm gonna do it one more time. One more time. Let's see if we can get our more credits from this. Alright. Hope you guys don't mind. Pazak games are really quick. They're fun, though. Why did they never add Pazak to Swator? Like, legitimate question. Take that. One round down. Honestly, they should add a Pazak expansion to Swator. They could sell so many different Pazak. And the Pazak cards could have, like, colors on them and stuff. That'd be cool. Just like enhance it, like a makeup a Zoc card expansion. That'd be so. That'd be awesome. I'm not gonna make this. Actually, no, I will. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm doing so great. After I got, I'm just all the. It's one of those green light days. One of those days you're driving and like you're just hitting all the green lights in traffic. Bam! Look at that. All right, tied. I'll take that. I'm two rounds ahead, so it's very unlikely that I'm gonna lose. All right, stand. Don't get cocky. Great kid, don't get cocky. That's that's me right now. I'm just I shouldn't get cocky, but I think I might. And or I am. Alright. Please be kind with me. Okay, tied. Thank god. That was luck. Alright. 17. Uh that's not. <coughs> I'm gonna stand. Just because I don't think it's possible I'll get a three. Damn it! Okay. It's all on the line now. It's all on the line. May the cards be in my favor. All right, standing. I'm not getting any closer. Oh, oh, yeah, that was so close. Care to play again? No, I got my money. Perhaps later. All right. All right. So we're not that bad, but we probably need some pretty decent cards. This guy is a good gambler, so we're gonna need some good cards. So I'm using my money to buy some cards. All right, let's see here. Do you have any cards I can buy? All right. Flip three and six. Wow, that's cool. Wait, this is an advanced Bazak side deck card. For use with a Pazak deck, this card changes the sign, positive or negative, of all of your threes and sixes in plays. How often do I play threes and sixes? I'm more often playing twos and fours. Plus minus one is always helpful. Plus minus four, jeez. All right, let's get one of those. Buy. Um, let us get... Um, one of those. Can I just buy all of these... <laughs> Honestly, let me get one of those. What are those? What are those? What are the? Do we have any plus ones? I don't think we had really any plus ones. Buy item. Then again, it's like randomized. You can get four out of the ten cards you select, so that's something I have to take into account. One more card. Which card do we take? Plus or minus four sounds handy. Yeah, why not? All right, let's see. Close. All right, that seems pretty good. Now. We're gonna go face this guy. Jeez, 1,000. Wait, do I even... Did I just spend that much? I swear to God, I think I just spent more. Okay. If we lose, we're literally out of money. So, I'm gonna do a very risky thing here. Actually, no, not risky. Really save. Cancel. And just save my game. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Alright. Let's play this guy in Pazak. You've returned. I'd like to... I'm ready for our game. Alright, so if we fail this... I don't know what we're gonna do. Just hope for the best. All right, let's see here. Available cards. What do I want to change out here? This card flips all positive twos and fours you have in play to negative. Seems really complicated. Which cards would not help me that much? Sixes have helped me actually a lot. Um, I don't find ones helping me all that much. What what would be better serviceable to me? That that's the question here. Actually, no. I don't even have ten cards available. I only have, I only have eight. I think one, two, three. Four. Oh, I'm stupid. No, there's ten cards. I can't count. But we want to replace one of these for a plus and minus one. So, get rid of these. Put it in there. Get rid of the four. Put that in there. I got two negative ones. Um. Hmm. Get rid of that. Put that in there. Rarely do you go over that much. Like, I'm a relatively safe Pazak player. 
I think at least. Do I really want to try that? I don't know if I want to risk that in a game like this. You know, let's just play with what we have. All right, sure, let's try this. This is a bad idea, but we'll try it. All right, so they do go as low as one. Oh, this guy's this guy. Ooh, all right, he's playing an interesting game. And turn. I swear to God, it's gonna be. All right, this guy, this guy. We're gonna call him out for cheating. I know it. We're gonna have a thing like a side quest where like we call him out for cheating. It's gonna go down. Probably gets like plus twenty instantly. He's hacked the Pazaka the Pazak terminal. If that is such a thing, end turn. I'm gonna go over here. Actually, no, I'm not. Shit. All right, we have to go over. Are you kidding me? Wow, this is. Should I just? I'm gonna stand. Tie it. Yeah. Okay. I want. I'm not gonna risk losing if I can. All right. So it's not really fixed. Just hard. End turn. We're gonna go over here. Yay! All right. One round down. We might be able to win against this guy. Everything's on the table right now. My car can Okay, we got- BAM! Man, it's just one of those green light days. It's one of those green light days. You're hitting all the green lights in- I've already said that in this video, but still, I'm gonna say it again. Alright, we're probably gonna lose this next round. Oh, shit, hold on. Oh, actually, no, that would just make us stand. Well, still, I'd rather stand- I'd rather tie than lose. If you forfeit, would you lose all your credits? Probably. I feel like I'm getting my ass handed to me in the next... Yeah, shit. Alright. Okay. He gets to it so quickly. Shit. Damn it. I swear to God, if he wins this next one, I'm gonna punch a wall. Uh, the stress is real. Yes! 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 Yay, I did it! Well played, Satoru. It was a good sort of game, though perhaps not enough to make up for losing your mana. But I will keep to my word. I'm sad to see her go, but it's true that it is always best to avoid becoming attached to anything in my line of work. Our business is completed, and I would ask you to depart from here now. But I do not hesitate to call upon me if you should have further exchange. Romana, your period of servitude to me is finished. Your ownership is transferred to this human. I see. In that case, I humbly submit to your wishes. I will collect your earnings later. Huh. I'm taking you back to Hara. Even after what Hori has submitted me to? It is not my choice, it is yours. Horror? What horror he has submitted me to? Wait a minute. Hold on a darn second. I'll collect your earnings later. As you wish, master. Dar what? Dark side? Why? Why? I'm simply... I am simply... There was no... There was absolutely no implication that... I, that Hara was gonna do dirty things with this girl. I thought, what the hell? And I want a, a fucking good game. Okay, fine, this game's unfair. That was a good ass game of Pazak. Don't tell me, don't tell me I didn't earn that. You know, by the end of this, we're probably gonna be like really just neutral. Where's our lights? Okay, we're kind of light. We're gonna be like, we're gonna be in the, we're gonna be like in the middle by the end of this. We probably would be if we weren't like, you know, Actively trying to be good at two shoes because it's so easy to like Make the wrong choice in these games. My gosh. Okay, we're good now All right, we're good now do we want to attempt the race again? We actually got to pay this time and I got to keep my money. I really I got to keep my money So I'm gonna attempt the race one more time All right, here's one of our credits. This is my last attempt at the race if we don't do good I'm just gonna give up Yeah, I gotta be spamming that click right away. I'm just gonna be clicking the whole time, essentially. I am just clicking non-stop, essentially. And I missed that. Oh, well. And I missed that one, too. All right. Ah, oh, and I missed that one, too. Shit, I'm not very good at this. I'm not gonna do so well this time. And I missed that one, too. My gosh. I'm horrible now. I'm doing horrible. And I missed that one again. What is... Oh, my... Yeah, I'm trash. All right, this was a waste of money. I should have done it earlier when it was free. Damn it. All right. We're not even placing. We're not even placing this time. Ah, I should have known... I should have known that was going to happen. should have known that was going to happen. After we, like, took a break. Uh, that wasn't even close to spectacular. That was 50 on the dot. 
I'll be going now. All right, we're not gonna do that again until we like, maybe leave the place. I think we've talked to everybody in here. We talked to everybody. Luxa again. Hello there. Uh, where did he, where did he talk to her? Something tells me she's gonna come up later again in the story. That's all I really know, though. Okay, let me take a drink here. You gotta have that drink, especially when you're there's a cold going around. Don't you hate it when a cold is going around and you're like. I hope I don't get it, and then you get it. You know, like, that sucks. That just sucks. Very, 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 very general uh, discussion, but still. Armory, can't get in there. Hiya. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all Let's the talk to the droid. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? Entertain me. Lieutenant Grant said to come here to get the Ebon Hawk and the rest of my possessions out of impound. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk what? is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. Huh? What do you mean gone? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point ah. of the are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now. <laughs> laughing at us. Laughing at me. Hey, don't take it so that personal, bro. Unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebonhawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos surface? I don't understand. Telos atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Can I get my possessions back at least? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security. That actually explains why when I went to the the, Dur the Duras vendors earlier, I wasn't able to sell anything. Because I didn't have anything. All my stuff was in here. I didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, maybe T3 knows something we don't. How about I wait here until you get me another ship before someone gets hurt? Okay, that's... My gosh. Wow. Just... Ooh. Okay, so there's like some aggressive ass choices in this game that are going to obviously give you dark side points. And then there's like some... Some passive aggressive choices, which are like full on dark side. Like we killed that guy earlier. That was un completely unintentional. Isn't there anything more the TSF can do? Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our. Yeah, own yeah, okay. Uh, what am I supposed to I do now? I'm not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. Considering how considering how thin spread TSF is with Telos the Citadel, it seems like it would make sense that they wouldn't have any idea who stole it, so I guess we're gonna have to see exchange. I'll be going now. And I'm not gonna ask him about the exchange, because we've already heard plenty about the exchange. It's just we're actually gonna go there and check check him out. All right, wow, that's a lot of stuff there. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to have to spend a very deliberate amount of time equipping, equipping all this stuff to everybody. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of it I can probably sell. I'll probably do that before I'm uh, done here today. A lot of stuff. A lot of blasters, a lot of stuff. All right, let me a moment here. I'm going to equip everything on everybody here. All right, everyone, just about everyone's decked out here. I decided to give Atten here two blasters just to try it out. Um, I think I might skill him with two weapon proficiency. I don't think he has anything with that yet. And I have this cool helmet. It's a cool looking helmet. That's pretty much all I can say. And I can't, I can't, I'm stuck. Okay, thank God. I was able to leave now. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Let's talk to this guy. Something I can help you with? Uh, how will you recover from the destruction of the Progress Mining Facility? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, true that. How bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit. 
and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. Can't the Republic increase funding for the station? If only it were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. They're sparing all they can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragus for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Is there anything that can be done? Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. If I can help, I'd like to. Um... I'll keep my eyes off any sort of finder's feed. I can help if I like. I'd like to help. You've got enough trouble, I think, and this is all your fault anyway. Hmm. Still think I'm to blame? Look, it doesn't matter what I think. But sure, if you find someone with a load of fuel in their hand they'd like to sell to us, let me know. I'll be waiting. Uh huh. Okay. This guy wants a fuel source. Onderon seemed like it was out of business earlier, so we'll have to figure out. Uh, enter RAM name and password. Tip to slice, uh, check the status of nearby vessels. Access pending investigations. Inquiry, Ebner Hawk records. Lost data. Pending investigations. Progress mining facility. Uh, comes up empty. Alright, log out. Alright, well, that was kind of pointless. We took really. That was, that was some quick slicing, if I do say so myself. So, prisoners must be held in here. Or we were held in here, actually, now I think about it. Yeah, we were held in here, but we're not anymore. We're good noodles. Alright, so we pretty much did a, a clean sweep of the uh, entertainment facility. Um, I don't know if next we should head back to the, we should head to the docking bay, or we should head off back and check out more of the residential modules. I don't know. Uh, docks 126. Actually, let's just check it out. Let's just see what we got here. This probably takes us to the planet's surface. I don't know if we want to do that right away, though. Yeah, this definitely takes us back to plant surf. Okay, we're not going to head here yet. Not yet. We're going to head back to the residential module. I think there was one other room we could step into, aside from the residential module. Like, there was, there was two wings of the residential module we could explore. We already explored one of them, almost completely. Are we already in the cantina? At the Star Wars. Star Wars cantina. I must say, they're also doing a better job at spacing out, like, your NPC interactions. Like, in, in the first KOTOR game, all of the important NPCs would be clustered in one area, and you'd spend, like, half an hour talking to all of them before you could proceed. You know, it was ridiculous. I mean, I always loved those conversations, it just, it took forever. Alright, so this is where we were. And I do believe there is another section of this facilite we have yet to check out. I don't know if it's, I think it is down here. Yo, did that guy come back to life? Yo, did you come back to life? Open that door, you're dead. Can I just grind dark side off this guy? Do you want to happen to their last routine who refused me? No. You got this job, not let me in. I said, yeah, you got his job, not let me in. Then I guess you're dead. I'll be going now. What if we just keep producing a pile of... That is a... I can't believe they'll keep letting you... They'll keep letting you kill exchange thugs until you get in. I wonder if there's a certain number of thugs you have to kill before you get in. I don't know. There's not. It's not like that feature there is pointless. It's not like it's not there for any reason. It is. Something. A thorium compound. Do I really want to get... Okay, too late. <laughs> Welcome. How may I help you? Moses spent, sent me to speak with uh, Chodo Habat. You're the Jedi Moses spoke of. I still open the doors to you now to inform Chodo Habat of your arrival. He'll be pleased to see you. All right. We'll, we'll see him. We'll, we'll talk to him.